There you go. That's the mainstream. JC Hensor, Seth Killian. And there's Chris Hu on the right side of the screen, setting up a one player side. Latif is on the left. Did you know he plays Faye too in addition to Viper? He I told me earlier that he was thinking about bringing out Faye in some matchups, and I don't know whether this is going to be one of them, but he's got that uh, that ability. Okay. I didn't know that before. He's also. So he's, he's uh, Saudi Arabian, right? He's here uh, to study. In school, he's been going to school in Arizona for four years, uh, or five years, I guess, and he's graduating now, or he did graduate, and so he's going back home in August, and he's just going to start working there, and he won't be able to play in the American scene anymore. Yeah, so we need him to win this Evo for America. If he wins this one, I'm going to claim it. For That's America. ours. Oh yeah. Once he moves back and he comes back to Evo, because he said he'll always come back to Evo. Uh huh. Then it's going to be Saudi no, no, Arabia. Then we're rooting against him. Oh, yeah. Then it's not America anymore. Yeah. But now he's American. So, well, I guess it's America, America. So, whatever. This is fine. But, you know, if he wins this thing, I to I'm totally with you. It's, it was, it's USA. When he did really well at Evo, I was rooting for him because of that exact fact. Yep. USA. USA. That's right. We can claim anything we want. That's what we that's do like in that's, America. That's our privilege. Man. Yeah. That's pretty much how America does it. Deal with it, rest of the world. Cross up and the burn kick. Oh, getting into things so quick. Already the stun? Was that a button check? It's not a button check. This is for realties. Oh, boy. Wow. This kid looks like an animal right now. That is one way to start. You can see Chris Hu's reaction. Okay, okay. Settle things down a little bit here. What? Let's get back to the mid-range game. Let's get back to Oni pressure. Let's see if he can make that happen. Oh, my God. Put this kid back in a cage right now. What is Chris Wu just looks like a deer in headlights right now. Finally pushing some buttons. Risky focus, exactly because of that. If you lose that great damage, you're done. That's gonna be it. Game one goes to Latif. That was fast. Chris Wu's gotta wake up. First round was quick, but we know Chris Hu is a very, very resilient player. He usually doesn't let things like that get to him. This is Chris three overhead in a row on Ryu Hu, so. Just, Just haven't seen any pokes. I mean, we haven't seen any pressure from him yet. He really hasn't gotten the chance. He's very uh, cautiously making his way in, and then he's met by a size knock. Nice jump from Latif. And the hard knockdown. Oh, Chris. Almost done. No, he's going to be fine now. But almost dead. And there it is. Latif is at match point. This is so quick. Come on, Chris. He just rolled in here. And it's just like sticking holes in Chris Hu's chest right now, dude. Okay, this could be the start. Chris yeah. has got to make this one count. He's in the corner. This he has all the meter swing. in the world. But, oh. hey, falls apart. Nice. That is all Latif right now. Challenges with the stand jab to at least try to get her out of his face for just a second. And you can see it in Latif's play now that he's no longer concerned. He feels like this is in the back. He had FADC toward for no reason before. Oh, wow. Might be getting a little bit too loose. Here comes Chris. Oh, that, that's it. Do it. That's the match. Latif eliminates Chris Hu just like that. He absolutely ran through him. Yeah, I didn't expect it to be like that, no. but hey. Battle door for Chris Hu. So, Chris Hu out of it, loser side on this stream exclusively. He went pretty far in the tournament. Oh yeah, job. top, top 32, 32 out of 1,600 people is amazing. All of these people should feel pretty accomplished. This is a great day for everybody. But Latif moves on. He's going to play against Bone Chan in the next round. Oh. That's a funky match. That's Bone Sagat, Chan is, one of the best. I think he's probably the best. Well, he's like in the running with top yes, three-ish to four-ish. Yeah, for sure. Sagats, yeah. For sure. And, he, and he's always been there. Yeah, absolutely. An amazing Sagat player. We'll see who's up next. Still waiting right now. I see again on screen, so I'm sure that's This is so Shen. funny when they Shen had. versus Dako playing Honda. How about that? Yo, this dude actually has the remote control to that gigantic screen. He's like walks up and flips the channel. That's awesome. <laughs> Again, with the big advantage right now in life lead. And he goes low into super. What? 
that going to close it out? That's going to do it. Wow, the last hit. Wow, Daco actually picked Honda. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I, I haven't seen him play Honda. I had only seen him play Ryu previously, so to see him play Kami and now Honda is kind of funky. clearly went home and devised a counter for everybody that he thought he was going to fight. Yeah, he put in the work, He's definitely. clearly that dude right now. This is a good one. Punko on the right. We saw him in a very close set. Uh, earlier against Mise, but he ended up on top. And now he's going to play against Chris King, the Vega player, Vega the Claw, out of San Diego, California. He doesn't get up to as many tournaments as he might like to, but when he goes to a major, he tends to do well. And here he is in top 32 with the Claw. Well, as I understand, he lived in Japan for a while, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. So he's got some of that, uh, you know, that overseas training. And, and it really shows. His Vega is... It's just very sharp, like, no pun intended. You can say if your pun was intended. If it wasn't, that's awesome. It wasn't. Well, you're the best. You're like, it's, he's got a sharp Vega. Without thinking about it, you're the best. His sharp You didn't even have to think. His Vega is so sharp, though. It is. James Chen would have delivered that, like, he's got a sharp Vega. <laughs> he would have had a little, like, head bob. <laughs> This is tough, man. Vega not with the strongest defensive options. You know, I think this is actually okay for Vega. If he gets knocked down, he loses, but that's set against everybody. Uh -huh. So it's not that big a deal. The bigger thing is that for Vega, usually it's an issue that he can't deal that much damage at a time. Uh -huh. But against Seth, that doesn't matter because yeah. Seth has zero life. That so makes sense. It's, a, it's kind of an interesting interplay. It's not necessarily how you think it would go. Slide to avoid the dive kick. Gutsy move by Chris, but knowledge of the matchup. <laughs> Good nice block, tee, yeah. yes. He's looking for that wall jump, and Punko is already eyeballing it, trying to keep him off the wall, but nice find there. See, that's good damage that right hurts. there. Yeah. yeah, that makes it look like the uh, the unnerfed version of that move when it used to just do a grip of damage. Chris just playing away. We've seen the style. Just wants to play uh, the defensive game, counter poke game. Absolutely not the game that Punko wants to play. I like that Scarlet Terror right there. Just toss it out there early, try it out, and let Funko think twice about these attacks. Surprise! Funko's got four meters. Guess what's gonna happen? You know, that's a little, I was gonna say that's a little risky on Vega. Exactly for that, and Chris King brought it out right after. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> had he gotten him into the corner, that would have been huge. It would have been surprise DP time with nowhere to go. But keeping it mid screen is great for Chris. Oh, still clip! Got him! Oh! In the air. Can he close it out? Not quite. Punko's still alive. Backdashes, backdashes again to be safe. And Chris King again, just staying away, staying away. He backdashed the second hit? Amazing! That's not supposed to work like oh, that! It whiffed! Oh, there's nowhere to go now. Now he's done. Yeah. That's not the reason to do Stan Ranos there is to beat focus. the focus. Yes. But yes. it didn't work. Yes. Just an interesting uh, transitioning of hitboxes there. Seth got pretty low. And moved pretty fast. That's two hits. Not going to focus that one. Now Chris in control. That's a good trade for him. No punish at all. That needed to be... Anything better than that. Chris King with a big miss. He overthought the punish. He overthought it. Just hit him. Stan Fierce. I don't know why he didn't do Stan Fierce, Stan but Fierce. at least he got something that time. Nice anti-air uh, placing right there. The wake up crowd strong. Yeah. He did that. And it hit him. Counter hit. Woohoo! The slide under again! So slippery, Chris King! He's playing loose, but he's got enough, enough life to do it. No! Oh, that's gonna be it! That's it. Chris King takes the first game. Only one game. Not over yet, but... Punko on the ropes. Remember, we're in loser's bracket. Look at the smile on Chris's face. That's, that's the face of somebody who wants to smile and rip on his opponent. But he's <laughs> trying to keep calm. That, you know, Puga lost that last round because of a combo drop, but the rest of the game, I, I think it was fine for Chris King. Even, even if he had not dropped that combo, Chris is still in a good position. Yeah. Oh, and he's moving off the wall very nicely, staying out of DP range, but that was a nice find from Puka anyway. 
excellent counter hit normals or counter place normals, I should say, from Chris King. Oh, wow, he actually got him with the shenanigan? Gave him the shenanigan. He did. And now here's a bad place for Chris. EX something. Whatever it was did not pay off. Not quite dead yet, but yeah, that's that. So Puka with a nice recovery in that round, he got what he wanted to. Get in, make it happen. Smart option. Oh, and again! Reads, he's just reading and they're going. Punko doesn't like getting red. If you're reading him, it's tough for him to win. That's his whole game. Oh, I think he was going for a delayed grab and Chris challenged it with the button. Got, got himself out. There it is again. Really sparing use of the Scarlet Terror. I good. really like that block. That yeah. was so smart. Yeah, that was huge. That's it. It's very common Vega tactic right at the end of rounds. Oh, that was huge, though. He's got to get this stun. Stun close. Great tech from Chris, but he's not out of harm's way just yet. Little tippy tip of, I think, jump back jab. Yeah. So Chris King is at match point here, almost eliminating Kunko. Former Evo top eight. This could certainly happen. Again, the slide under. I love those reactions by Chris. Puko's just having such a hard time applying the mix-up. Like you said, he stands so slippery. He stands so loose. Wanted EX wall dive. Didn't come. Oh, finally going to the jump strong. Noticing that Chris King is going to the air to air. Nice. Ooh, Chris getting a little crazy maybe. Can he recover here? Maybe not. Puko now in. Plenty of meter. Oh, oh hi, that was a really nice uh, mix-up. I don't think I've seen that before. Yeah, props to him. That was that was really solid. So he's gonna close this game in that fashion, and we're gonna go down to the final one for both these guys. On the mainstream right now, Mad Cats Tokido, Mad Cats Daigo. That is a marquee matchup if ever there were. That's right. Uh, they're like inventing normals to trade with each other in the air at this point. Scarlet Terror is not free. Uko missed the mark and put himself in the corner. Nice read. Got the anti air tandem and turns it into good damage. Now the corner, maybe? We'll see what he gets. Yes. Almost there. Oh, there. That's going to be it. Right the meter. on the button. And Chris King, who was at his own oh, block, got started right? and he didn't stop. But Chris King, first one to get a significant hit here. And goes back to the, the spacing game. Hey, he's already winning. Punko has to do something now. Nope. Oh, that drop is crucial. Didn't have charge, couldn't get anything other than that crush yeah. strong. Yeah. Oh, Chris King, his timing on that has been perfect. What? Stan Fierce? Oh, what? Stan another Fierce? one! This is crazy. And Punko gets the grab. Still in the corner. Almost dead. This might be stun, actually. That was so well yeah, played. That's going to be it. So Chris King had a great set for the most part, but Punko makes the comeback. And the thumbs up from yeah. Punko. I like to see that. That was respect. Yeah. Definitely respect right there. Against Chris King, who's one of the best Vegas in the country, seems to be in the world now.